Now that we've taken an introductory look at what functions are in our review of pre-calculus, the second thing we're going to look at is how we can evaluate functions. Evaluating functions simply means we're going to replace the input with the given value. So let's take a look at some examples where we do just that. Let's say f of x is equal to 3x minus 7, and g of x is equal to x squared plus 2x minus 6. We're going to first evaluate what is f of negative 1. With f of negative 1, negative 1 is the input that's going to replace the x in the f function. So I go to the f function, and wherever I see an x, I'm going to replace that. So it's 3 times stuff minus 7. That stuff is the negative 1 going into my function. Now I just have to simplify that. 3 times negative 1 is negative 3. Minus 7 is negative 10. We've evaluated the function. Let's try and evaluate g of negative 3. Well, here the negative 3 is going into the g function. So I'm going to look at the g function. And wherever I see an x in the g function, it's going to get replaced with my input. So we have stuff squared plus 2 times stuff minus 6. That stuff is the negative 3 of my input. Simplifying then, we're going to have negative 3 squared is 9. 2 times negative 3 is negative 6. Minus 6 is going to give me 9 minus 12, or negative 3. But we're not stuck just doing inputs that are numbers. We can also do inputs that are expressions. We can replace the input with an expression. For example, let's say we're working with f of x equals 4x squared plus 3x. And we're interested in finding f of 3a minus 5. Well, now this 3a minus 5 is the input to the f function. So anywhere there's an x, it's going to be 4 times stuff squared plus 3 times stuff. That stuff is the 3a minus 5, our input to the function. Order of operations say we square first. So when we square 3a minus 5, that's going to give us 9a squared. Remember, when we square, we have a middle term, which is 3a times 5 is negative 15a. And that appears twice. So doubling it gives us negative 30a. And 5 squared is 25, plus 3 times 3a minus 5. Distributing through gives us 36a squared minus 120a plus 100. Distributing the 3 through, 9a minus 15. Combine like terms, we've got 36a squared. A negative 120a plus 9a is negative 111a. And 100 minus 15 is plus 85. We've evaluated our function at the point 3a minus 5. We can even evaluate our function with an input that has the same variable as our function. We can find f of 2x cubed, for example. Here, the 2x cubed is going into the function anywhere we see the variable. So the function was 4 times stuff squared plus 3 times stuff. That stuff is the input of 2x cubed both times. And then we simplify. This time, when we're dealing with the exponent, there's no adding. So we can just square the parts. 2 squared is 4. And x cubed squared, multiplying the exponent, gives us x to the sixth. Finally, multiplying out to finish, we end up with 16x to the sixth plus 6x to the third for our final answer, evaluating the function at 2x 
to the third. Now that we can evaluate functions, our next video is going to take a look at how we can evaluate a composition of two functions working together.